Okay, here it is, your crash course on Google. Google is said to be the fastest growing company in history. At last count, it was reportedly worth $127 billion, and it's growing like crazy. There's Google News, Google Maps, Google Earth, Google Desktop, Google Books, Google My Ass, or I'm kidding about the last part, but not really. Everything is Google, Google, Google. The company's mission is to organize the world's information and organize it does. Google gets more hits and gives more search results than all of its competitors combined. But with that much control over the information on the net, eventually somebody's gonna want it. And in America, it's the government. The Justice Department has come knocking. It subpoenaed Google and three other companies for a random sample of a million web addresses. The government said it needed the info to prepare for a case and defend a law that tries to keep pornography away from minors. But Google has refused to hand over the data. So is the company defending your rights to privacy? Well, maybe, but there's another question here. Why does Google have all that information? Well, what does Google know about us? Well, it turns out quite a bit. It knows what you search for, when you search for it, where you went on the internet, and it knows where you started, your home computer address. Google says it keeps this digital history to improve services. Exactly how long it keeps it, well, we don't really know. Except we do know that they keep it for quite some time. Okay, practically, what does this all mean? What does it mean for you? I know right now it's an American story, but it is the internet, which means it's everybody's story. So if the Americans do get access to Google's records, if they do, does it mean that internet privacy is on that slippery slope? We are done? What info does Google, keep, does Google keep on us? And then what will the US government get access to? We've already known that they've cornered the market on phone records. So for some answers, we've got a guy who's watching this case. He's the director of technical research for the Citizens Lab. His name is Nart Villeneuve, and he joins us. Nice to see you, man. Thanks so, for having me. No problem. So uh, what do they know? What do they really know about us? Because that seems really freaky. Well, every time you use Google, they store your IP address, which is sort of like the equivalent of your, of the, your home address. They store what you search for, they store what browser you used, and they, they store the date and time of the search. In addition to that, they also store a small file on your computer called a cookie, which keeps track of your preferences mm -hmm. and um, other things that you set in Google. And if you sign up for any Google services, such as Gmail, they st obviously store all the personal information that you give them. Well, now, obviously, it, it, we know they have that, but it's speculative, I suppose, as to what they do with it. But what do they do with that? Like, why would they have that info? Well, they're, they're clear about the fact that they use it for advertising purposes to try to show you targeted ads. Mm -hmm. um, they also use it to, um, to build a better user experience, is how they put it. Now, the American government says that they don't want this information for personals, right? They want it for, to find out what people are looking for. I guess it's a more general thing that they want? Yeah, they want access to um, Google searches and what URLs come up when you search for certain words over a period of time. So why would they want that? Why are they trying to achieve this? Well, uh, it has to do with this case against the Child Online Protection Act. Uh, the American Civil Liberties Union um, filed a claim in court that this law was much too broad and violated the First Amendment. And so uh, the government is now trying to um, counteract that argument. And what they want to do is they want to show that, first off, no matter what you type in, um, porn or other uh, harmful to minors content will come up mm -hmm. and that um, they also want to test uh, commercial filtering software to see how effective it is and claim that this won't protect children and that some other scheme needs to be in there. What they're suggesting is that to visit this kind of content you have to first enter in something like your credit card number um, to verify that you're over a certain age to see any of this um, harmful content. So not only do you have to be of a certain age but you have to have the ability to, uh, to accumulate debt. It's what you have <laughs> yeah. if you want to. Um, are the parental control softwares that are out there now, do they do the job? Um, when they're applied um, at, uh, by choice, so by parents or, or um, on your local computer, they're actually fairly good. They're not 100% effective, mm -hmm. but, but they're not bad um, if for eliminating um, random pornography that you might stumble across. Obviously, if, if your, your teenager is intent on finding pornographic content, they're going to find it. Mm -hmm. We always go to the corner store, I suppose, if you really wanted it. But why won't Google hand this information over then to the American government? Um, well, Google is concerned that this information might tip off their competitors as to um, what they do with their data and how they store it. So they're concerned about trade secrets. And I think they're also just concerned in general about the slippery slope. 
if the government can subpoena this information and it comes back that people are you know searching in Osama bin Laden all the time well then what's to stop the government from going hey we want to know who's searching for that information yeah so I think that they feel that threatened that if they comply too easily that it's just gonna lead to more requests do you think that people are paying enough attention to the story because it seems like it could be a big deal um, it is a really big deal because it um, shines a light on um, the, the total information that Google is storing. I mean, their motto for email is never delete it. We just store it for you. Yeah. So, I mean, they have tons of so storage space. Oh, um, they, they store have all everything. Of emails. They have all your emails. Do you ever delete any of your emails yeah. in Gmail, Google's email product? No, because the, the size is so big. Their motto is don't bother deleting it, just store it. Oh, so, boy. I mean, they store everything. <laughs> that could be interesting. Nart, thanks for your time, hey, man. No problem. Really appreciate that. Nart Villeneuve. Uh, obviously, we always like hearing from you on this program. Uh, what do you think about this story involving Google? Let us know or on anything else.